everyone. Today I'm going to review the Bugbee Beauty 5 Pam. We absolutely love that Pam. Um, both boys use it and George still fits in it and he's two and a half and he's quite big. It's brilliant. It's one of my favourite Pams I've had so I thought we'd do a quick review and tell you why we love it. Say hiya. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hi guys. So this is Ronnie. He is six months old. Say hiya. Yeah. <laughs> he's in the Bugbee Beauty now. Um, this is on the smallest seat setting. <laughs> yeah. And he's got the sunrise yellow foot morph and i thought i'd show you quickly how the um harness works it's a five point harness but these all go in individually clipping individually so it's great if you've got a wriggly toddler and there have been a nightmare to get in the seat isn't it so this is a sunrise yellow foot morph and then we've got the blue melange hood uh, the hood is brilliant it comes right down you can barely see him so it's great if he's having a nap or that's really sunny out so yeah, this is a blue melange fabric. It has the logo there and basically to make this bigger or shorter, you basically do the zip up and then it can be uh, short or <laughs> long. So yeah, this is the basket. The basket is not a bad size. It's got George's playgroup bag and it's also got the rain cover and there is, I guess, some more room for all the little bags of shopping. And it's also got this football so basically if the seat is facing outwards the child can put their feet on there the wheels on this are the burgundy wheel caps and um, these can be chosen when you actually buy the pram offline or well, you buy it new i got my bugger b5 off ebay so i might do a video on just to what like what to look for if you're going to buy a second hand one and just to make sure that you're not being fobbed off basically and this is the black chassis which i love and it's got the brown quilted leather at handlebar grips there is black ones of these these ones and there is like a light tan one these feel really nice to um hold on to and they i think they're a bit more hygienic than foam because you can just wipe these down it also has a strap to hold on to if you are going down a hill and you don't want to let go of the pram okay guys i obviously bought the foot more separately they are quite pricey but they are really thick and cozy and just perfect for the winter time I also have the Bugaboo wheeled ride on board. I got this for George uh, to, for the two, like for just if we're going into town or if we're on the playgroup run, he just sits on it perfectly. You can detach the seat and you can stand up and hold onto the handle. However, he sits on it for now and he absolutely loves it and he can have a good nose. I will do a separate review on this guy just to tell you more about it and whether I recommend it. Uh, what else can I say? So yeah, this is a black chassis and it has all the white uh, little bits on it. Basically, all the white bits on bugaboos have a feet and will have a function, so that's quite interesting. So these obviously make the handle go higher. Um, to adjust the handle, you basically pull these out, lift up the handle, and then clip these back in. So the handle height is amazing. If you're tall or short, there's definitely a handle height for you. Uh, George can push it if I put it on the lowest handlebar setting and then the highest is absolutely brilliant and great for a tall parent it's not too short and you don't feel like your back's breaking when pushing it what I love about it is it's like the most nippiest little pram we do have an eye candy orange for Ronnie as well which I do use but to be honest I use this one like 99% of the time just because it's so easy to push and just get out and about we have been on the bus with this as well and it's just so nippy and it just fits in like little little nooks and crannies so it's just so much easier than taking a big bulky pram out so <laughs> are you okay in there so yeah i do absolutely love it i um, highly recommend we did have a bugaboo b3 with george which i sadly sold i wish i would have kept hold of it but i decided to get the b5 with ronnie just because i'm sure i've heard that the seat Obviously the seat can adjust on these, basically you pull out the bottom, like you pull out this bit and this legs bit comes out a bit longer and if you look at the back, this um, this bit basically pulls up and it makes the seat go a little bit taller at the back. Okay guys, this is the seat semi-reclined, um, this is what Ronnie normally has it on to be honest because I think he's a bit too young just to be set up ball right yet. So this is semi-reclined, it's got three, um, by the way it's got three seat settings. So then this is fully reclined. So you can put a newborn baby in here. Uh, it would be good if you put the newborn baby in with a foot muff because it's quite protective. So that's fully reclined. And then this is, not that one. That one is completely upright. So that's great for a toddler if they're facing outwards as well. As a recliner, all you do is 
is it press it down? Yeah, I can't really think. Hold this and this, lift it up, and then it basically clips into place when it gets to a certain level. So that's where he normally is. So yeah, guys, I absolutely love it. Um, it's just so easy to get on the bus. Uh, it's really nippy. It pushes brilliantly. If you've got a toddler, you can push with one hand and also hold their hand. It's just amazing and it gets up past really easily and this because the, the wheels are quite small but this because it's got some good springs on it the suspension is really good I don't know whether you can see it there but it's not too rickety or bumpy so he loves it don't you Ron and Ronnie by the way guys is on the smallest seat setting at the top so he's got a bit of room left and then you can pull up the seat at the back so it gets a bit higher and he is nearly seven months aren't you and then there's his little legs aren't you babe so he's on the smallest seat setting but George, who is two and a half and he is really big for his um, age, can still fit in it. So that's amazing. So it definitely lasts from baby to large toddler. So yeah, guys, I highly recommend it. And if you have any questions about it, uh, just let me know. And I will do a separate review on this. This does actually flip right up onto the pram, if I can show you. So basically, you lift it up and it's out the way. You want to put it a bit, like say you're dropping a toddler off at playgroup, you can just lift this back up for the walk home <laughs> and then under your feet. So yeah, I will do a separate review on this and I will also, I might do a review on, well not a review, but just telling people what to look for if they're going to buy a second hand uh, bugaboo off eBay. So <laughs> I've gone through the video guys and I've realised I've started talking about something and haven't finished it off. What I was saying, I had the bugaboo beef for George, which I sold unfortunately, but I've heard that the B5, the seat actually extends higher for a taller toddler, so it will last a little bit longer. Um, especially if you've got a big child so that's why i've got the b5 and it's just because there wasn't much price difference with the b5 and the b3 on ebay so i thought i'd go for the newest one so yeah that's what i was gonna say so i hope you enjoyed the video guys thanks for watching